Hey guys, you know, out here at the cabin, uh, I have an outhouse and I've always used the outhouse and I don't really mind. Not a big deal to me, but sometimes uh, I get company here and you know what? They don't like to use the outhouse. Uh, my little girl, for example, when she comes and stays with me, she's not keen on going to the outhouse, especially in the middle of the night. So I've got to do something about that. And then, to be honest, you know, I, I don't like using the outhouse when it's 30 below or if there's a raging storm out here. That's no fun. So today, I am going to show you guys how to build an indoor off-grid toilet for the total cost of $1. Just $1. So stay tuned. All right, so uh, today's springtime task is to create an indoor toilet. Um, so you'll need a few things. Uh, now I've done this for one dollar, that's what I had to spend. Uh, your cost may vary, depends on what you have laying around. You don't really need much for this project. You do need a five gallon pail. Uh, you can get these for free a lot of times. You know, just go, for example, I go to uh, the local tractor dealer and I just say, hey, you guys got any extra five gallon pails? And they usually, yeah, take whatever you need if they have a bunch of extras. So uh, you can get these free almost anywhere like that. Uh, you will optionally need a piece of plywood. And this is if you were going to make this a permanent thing. So you could actually screw the bucket down into the plywood. And then if you had a place to put this, uh, just screw this down into the floor. And then that way this isn't going to move because you don't, yeah, probably don't want this thing to uh, tip over, right? Anyways, I'm not going to put that on for today. I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to keep it mobile. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is obviously something to put the waste in. Um, so here at the cabin, what I'm probably going to use is just garbage bags. And uh, I suggest that you use good quality ones and double line them. And so you're just going to put the garbage bag in here. And when you're done or when it's convenient, I'm just going to take it out and I'm going to empty it into the outhouse. Uh, if you're going to do that method, you probably should have some lime on hand. And not just any lime, you actually need hydrated lime. And uh, hydrated lime is what you use in the outhouse. It's the same stuff. So basically, whenever you use the toilet, you sprinkle on some lime. And that keeps the smell down because it keeps the, uh, the bacteria from starting to decompose the waste. And it'll keep the smell down of the waste. Because, uh, yeah, you don't, wanna, you don't want it to be too stinky if you're in an enclosed space. Um, the other option that you have, they do sell these bags. And you don't need to use these, but these are, uh, these are sold by Reliance. They're called Double Duty. Duty as in D-O-O-D-I-E. And uh, basically what these, these are is um, these are designed to fit actually a five gallon pail. And they have uh, something, they contain what's called biogel. So after you go to the toilet, you take this bag out, you zip it up, and the biogel will solidify the waste. And then you can toss it out uh, whenever you have the chance. So that's... Uh, that makes things a lot easier. And th these are great if you're going to take this, throw this in your truck or whatever. You're going to go hunting, fishing, camping, whatever you want to do. You can take a portable toilet with you. Take these uh, double duty bags. It's uh, a lot easier to clean up. So I will throw this in today. Well, you don't need these. Well, there you go. Fits perfectly. Uh, so the next thing that you need is something to sit on. Um, sometimes you could you could actually rig up a toilet seat to this if, if you really wanted to. But I'm just going to use a pool noodle. And this is uh, the only thing that I actually had to buy. This cost me $1. So I'm going to make a seat with this. So step one is to measure it. Two, I'm just going to cut it. Don't need 
around that piece. And because this is hollow, I'm just going to make a slice right up here. And then I'm going to fit it onto the toilet seat. toilet seat and we have a portable toilet that took what a couple minutes oh that's gonna be great well just uh, sit on this and try it out oh yeah yep yep that's gonna be a lot better than uh, heading to the outhouse at 30 below yep well, that's it for today, guys. That's my video on how to make a quick indoor portable toilet. I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time here at the cabin.